Hey guys and welcome to another Polymer Clay tutorial. Today we are going to create Dark Bomber with Thunder Crash from Fortnite. I'm so excited to finally create the very first skin from the new Season 6. It's been a while, you decided in the last poll that I should create the Dark Bomber and I was happy that this one was the winning skin. We are starting with the aluminum wire to create the armature underneath the skin of Dark Bomber. Today's video is brought to you by Skillshare and this is the well-known online learning community for creators like I am with more than 19,000 classes in videography, vi videography, productivity, photography and more and even gaming. I am taking a class right now about how to create your own game. And this is a great start for taking the first steps to learn, progress and grow as a creator, artist or business person. And I made a great deal with Skillshare. If you are within the first 600 people to sign up with my link below, you will get two months for free. Later in this video I will tell you more about Skillshare. Now let's get back to the creation. The coating process is already almost finished. This is the dark navy blue. I think it's called like that. So I didn't have to I didn't have to mix the color because this one matches perfectly the dark bomber skin and this is our base layer and right at the beginning I thought about which pose this character should be in and I had this, well the harvesting tool, the thunder crash right in mind together with the cube. I saw this image, I think it's an official image from Fortnite and I knew I wanted to create Dark Bomber in this posture. So this is the mixture of silver, bright blue and even purple, a very light purple to get this shiny effect on the silver and we will use that as the armor on the shoulders for example. But later in this tutorial we will need this color multiple times for the belt for example and even the X I think on the Thunder Crash there's also this type of shining silver. Well on the image it is more shiny but there is no clay color for that unfortunately. <laughs> Adding two tiny or even more tiny folds and this is the mixture we need to create this well-known shirt. The shirt Bomba, the Dark Bomba is wearing and I'm not quite sure what I am seeing on the shirt, but I would say it is a purple mountain with a yellow lake and another dark purple mountain in front. And later, after oven hardening, we will put this dark unicorn right on top. But I didn't want to create the unicorn out of clay because it's so tiny and so detailed, I would have screwed on that. <laughs> it's enough that I am uh, screwing on the face. Oh no, come on. I should really take a course on Skillshare about face creating. Yeah. <laughs> I know that I can improve right there. So, there is another Amor part. Is it Amor? I'm not sure. Maybe it's just a patch on the trousers, which is silver. And we are removing the blue clay for the black clay for the boots. In this video I want to make another poll and I'm really excited about this one because the next skin I will create from Fortnite will be the Halloween special. So which skin would be the perfect match for Halloween? Halloween. I know there is the Halloween skin but we have some further skins which should also be amazing for this special. I'm already looking for a horrible, no not horrible, but threatening, no, what's the right word, creepy, scary, scary location for the Halloween special. It's 
so please participate in the poll and let me know which skin I should create for this event. And this will be funny, it will be a bit different from my regular tutorials, of course. Yeah, the boots. These are, well, I don't want to talk much about them because they are really simple to create. Maybe this is a bit difficult to get these very thin lines of black clay into position. And they are already finished. Um, this is another armor part right in front of the knee and the leg, the lower part of the knee. This is quite typical for all the Fortnite skins. Some patterns, there are some patterns in the skin design which I have noticed quite a lot <laughs> that most of the skins have the same set of pieces which repeat on all the skins like this protection, knee protection for example or the boots which are also quite unique to the Fortnite universe we're adding some more silver, I was not quite sure what I was creating right there. Maybe some pockets. I couldn't identify what it was on the images I, fr I found from Dark Bomber. So this is the belt we are using and this will be the belt buckle with the silver we just mixed. Placing it right in the middle. These are two black stripes holding Maybe the breasts or the shirt. I was not sure about that, about the function of these stripes. And the gloves. Well, this is also quite typical for the Fortnite skins, if you have noticed that. On the right hand, the glove is slightly bigger. It goes almost to the elbow. And on the left hand, it's just a very short glove covering the hand, the palm of the hand and the fingers can be seen so they are these are open gloves uh, this is the white we need for the skin and some bright blue it's the aqua 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 blue bright water blue <laughs> and we will add a very thin pieces as fingers thin rolls using the modeling tool to get the fingers into shape and to place it onto the thumb as well. So this will be the hand for the cube and the left one will be the one for the harvesting tool. The neck I try to get a smooth connection part to the head and this would be the blue. I'm clipping this away. We don't need it. And this is the skin color we will need that later. For the head, let's focus on, th on Thunder Crash first. And I'm not sure about this fact, but I think, well, Thunder Crash is changing, depending on how many kills you have in the game. And I think this is unique, right? Or is there another X which is changing? I'm not sure about that. Let me know. If you have any clue, write it down in the comments about the X changing. And this is why I love this harvesting tool. I think it's even the harvesting tool which I like the most from all of the tools I have created so far. Adding the tongue. <laughs> this is the lower part. It, well, it looks like the llama, of course but it's supposed to be a dark unicorn. Adding all the stripes in the face of the llama, the dark unicorn. I have to make a confession. There is only the front side of this unicorn of the Thunder Crash because I had no idea how to create the back side as well, that it looks great. I didn't really care about that. For me, creating with clay is like painting. And you also just don't care what's on the other side of the canvas. <laughs> so maybe this is a comparison which works for you. At least it works for me. So there are, there is no eye on the back side of the Thunder Crash. It's just the front, which looks great. And this is how I created the color gradient 
for the unicorn horn right on the nose and there's even another color gradient for the hair for the mane of the dark unicorn so we try to get these as accurate as possible with the scalpel and placing it onto the head maybe we should put some kind of toilet paper underneath that it isn't sticking to the ground and that it's even and there are different colors for the other decoration parts or is it also main of this harvesting tool skin <laughs> I'm not sure so um, while putting this one into the oven I want to take the chance to tell you more about Skillshare about today's sponsor and why I love it just showing two ways of creating the purple cube I was still not sure which one I should use this one or the purple one but let's put this one into the oven from my experience, Skillshare is great for people who want to make their passion a full-time job or let's say you have an area in your life you are really passionate about and you want to make some progress. Skillshare gives you the tools. The community discussion board, for example, I use this a lot where you can talk to other people taking the class as well. Now I'm building up the stop motion studio and I found many courses quite helpful. This one, for example, it's called Animating with Character Rigging with different steps in this course. Character complexity, design requirements, important to your artwork, the puppet tool and so on. This was quite helpful. I know for some of you this may be quite interesting. Game design, how to create your own games. I even think about taking this class as well. Normally a membership is $10 a month, but the folks at Skillshare made a really good deal. The first 600 people to sign up using my link in the description, you're going to get the two months of Skillshare for free. And now let's get back into the oven. Freshly baked dark bomber without the hat. And this is what we will create right now. This is quite simple as we mixed the skin color earlier. And now I really try to focus on the head, on the face, because normally you know that I'm screwing on the face. Ah, why is it so difficult? Maybe it's always the eyes. This is the mouth. Just a bright purple. I'm using the scalpel to open the mouth just a little bit. And this is the nose. Without the nose it just looked like Lord Voldemort, right? From Harry Potter. <laughs> oh no, he said the name. There is inside uh, the area of the eyes, there is a bit darker clay. So that the eyes look a bit more shadow-like. The eyelids are dark purple. Oh, I'm just adding a thin layer of clay for the forehead. And this is a great technique I'm using for the iris. There's brighter clay inside and now we are rolling out this thin roll of clay. Quite, quite thin. And you get this nice iris with a very tiny outline. And this is the black inside the eye. Already looks great, I think. The eyebrows also quite dark purple. Well, somehow the facial expression is a bit weird. Oh, what, what do you think? Come on, maybe someone is standing up for me and says, oh, it's not too bad. Ah, I'm always not so sure about the face. The hair, this is simple because you don't have to spend extra attention to that. You're just putting the dark layers of clay together. There's the knot, the back side of the head, the tail, the hair tail. And we add some details to that, some texture, adding it to the head. And this is finished. Well, except for the sunglasses, right? So we remove all the stuff from the plate and we are working on the plate. 
to get thin layers of black clay surrounded by silver. This is the outline. It was quite difficult to get good images of the sunglasses, so I made up my own style of sunglasses and I think this matches the ones which are on the skin. This is the connection part, this is for the ears and the sunglasses are finished. After oven hardening we will use some transparent polish to get them quite shiny. So this is the last working step for the boots. Most of the Fortnite boots have this thick sole. So we try to create this as well with some kind of a profile. And we are ready to put this creation into the oven. Freshly baked and finished Dark Bomber! And this is what I was talking about, some transparent polish for the sunglasses. And it already looks great. For her left hand, <laughs> we take a very thin aluminum wire. Which one to choose? I take this one, maybe we can add some dark with a thick pen on the edges. And maybe we should paint it afterwards so that it's the cube is bright inside. We're, we are adding even some purple wool for the floating effect. I used the same one on the floating island, you know that. But well, it's a different wool. Whoa. <laughs> this was the back side. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> the horn is also attached and now we drill a tiny hole. This will be the connection point. We are putting in some super glue for the handle, the handle of the axe. These are the wheels, the thorn wheels. And we will glue it onto the handle as well. And this is some bright magenta, purple and white. And there are some very thin lines on the eyes. And this is also great for getting the cube a bit brighter in the middle, that it looks, almost looks like as if it is glowing. <laughs> and now this is the evil unicorn with wings. It's not a unicorn, right? I tried to cut it out with a scalpel. This was quite difficult. And this is special paper, which is has a gluing side, the back side, so that's sticky, quite sticky, and we could, can put it right onto the shirt. There are some white lines, maybe some clouds, I was not sure about it. We glue it onto the front, and removing the dark bomber from the plate, and I guess... <laughs> that's it, dark bomber! That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the show with Dark Bomber and Thunder Crash. I want to thank today's sponsor Skillshare. Growing as a business person, growing as an artist, growing as a human. For me it's taking whatever you can to learn. Learn, improve, get better. Check out Skillshare. You can get two months for free if you are one of the first 600 to sign up. Go check out. The link is down in the description. I guess that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next week. Take care. Bye. There is not only dark bomber, but dark clay claim. <laughs> That's weird. No, it's not. Not. <laughs> Bye.